Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a first impressions on one of the newer foundations I've seen at the drugstore. And it is, of course you can see it on the title as well. It is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. And I got the shade 40 Nude. This does have a SPF 20 on it, so I don't know how it is with flashback yet. This is, of course, the first impressions. I haven't used it yet. I've been tempted to, but I have so many other foundations right now that I reach for anyway. So I'm going to get close up, and we're going to try this bad boy out. So it says to shake well on the bottle, which I already did, but we'll give it a good quick shake. Now this sounds very liquidy and very similar to my bare skin but except this has a little ball in there to help shake it. This does not. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to show you guys this uh, applicator. It says it's a dropper, but it's obviously not a dropper. It is more like a, a little dome with the tip end. I think this is more meant for shaking it than it is for dropping it. So, I don't know how I'm going to apply this. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and it is very liquidy, as you can see there, all right. And I'm going to use my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and I'm just gonna stipple this on one half of my face. I think I did a decent color match. Okay, so I know I'm gonna need a lot more <laughs> product. But it does give, I wanna say it gives decent coverage, honestly. Just trying to be careful not to ruin my eyebrows. This does feel similar to one of my other foundations. I think it applies very well with the with the Sigma Kabuki brush. I don't see much streaking, if any. This formula feels a little drying, kind of uh, almost like a, not a powdery sense, but I don't know. It doesn't feel bad for my dry skin. I keep forgetting to tell you guys if I've applied anything to my face. Now, I didn't put on any primer on my skin, just like I do uh, all my other first impression videos. The only thing I applied was some moisturizer, and the moisturizer that I put on my skin today was the Equate Strikingly Unique Moisturizing Lotion. And this is, I guess, the dupe to the Clinique Dramatically, Clinically Dramatically Different Lotion, whatever. So I like the feel of it on my skin. I have dry skin, but this has like a satiny feel to it, which I can really admire and appreciate. I don't, it, it's not dewy dewy, but of course there's a little bit of shine on my skin. I do like the way it feels though. It like, it like settles really well. I don't know if I want to build on this to see if it goes into full coverage. For the sake of this first impressions, I will apply a little bit more on my hand and I'll use the same brush and just kind of reapply to see if it... I'm just going to finish off by doing my concealers. For concealer, I'm going to be using, I'm gonna stick with the same Maybelline trend. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sable and my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Light just to brighten under my eyes. So let's just add my concealer. Okay guys, so I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup. I applied my concealer already and I will get back to you guys and give you kind of my first impressions on this product. Okay, love, so I have applied the rest of my makeup and I must say I am really enjoying this foundation so far. I've only had it for about half an hour. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you my straight up pros and cons from my first impressions. Um, now, the pros is I love the bottle. I think it is just this cute, unique, like genie in a bottle style 
bottle now the shade on this I love it I feel like it matches me perfectly now the cons <sighs> for the price point which was about $11 actually I don't even know if I have my receipt but this was about $11 which isn't bad drugstore foundations normally range at, at this price range you only get 0.67 fluid ounces that's a little bit over half an ounce I'm so irked by this that's that's probably my main con about it I, I don't like that you're charging regular price Maybelline listen up not that they would anyway but why are you what why what, what was the purpose of putting 0.67 ounces you could make the bottle a slightly bit bigger and just put a whole ounce in there just to appease your diehard Maybelline fans so my other con is the applicator or the dropper it is a little messy I don't know why it's so messy I haven't spilled it or anything like that but I think once you start shaking it it goes on the rim because it is so liquid so, I don't know those are my cons is the dropper and the fact that there's only pretty much a little a little over half of what they normally carry I mean my bare skin has one ounce my cover girl one ounce my Revlon color stay one ounce 30 milliliters in case you need to know my Maybelline BB cream one ounce do you guys just I mean, what is this? Someone, help me out, anyone. That is my main pet peeve. Okay, enough rambling. Sorry guys, kind of, yeah. It just, you know, anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and run some errands and check in with you guys. I have been rambling for quite a bit. So right now it is 11.33. Let's just say I've had it on since 11 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, I will check back with you guys later and tell you how this is holding up. See you guys later. I am coming back checking in on you guys. It is now 4.29 p.m. and has been about... Uh, five hours five and a half hours something like that since I put on my makeup and I as you can see here I'm a little you know greasy there but it's because I haven't blotted or touched up my face and it's disgustingly humid today and I don't know why but I was also in the kitchen cooking and cleaning and doing all that you know housewifey stuff you know whatever so far I am liking the Maybelline dream wonder foundation it does still feel nice on my skin it doesn't feel sticky but I am going to blot so I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towel blot and see how it looks so I got rid of some of the shine um as I can see here so far it's looking good it hasn't moved at all so far so good I'm really liking the way it wears it hasn't oxidized which that's a good thing but I will be checking back with you guys a little bit later and see how it has held up overall but so far five hours over well over five hours not bad not bad at all hello loves I am back it is now 8 16 p.m. and I have had this foundation for well over 10 hours now I must say that I am really really loving this I don't think my opinion has changed from me personally putting it on right away I must say I love this and it just goes on like a dream and it's called dream wonder so it is more of a satin I want to say yeah it's more of a satin finish it's not matte so if you have dry uh, combo or dry to normal skin just any kind of normal skin I would recommend this foundation I feel maybe even with oily skin depending on you know what kind of primers you use and if you use you know a good powder I definitely would still recommend trying something like this just to try out the texture on it all in all I think this is a wonderful product and I hope it stays in their permanent line because it is fabulous so anyway guys I really really hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please let me know down below if there's any products that you want to see my first impressions on I'd love to see your feedback and your comments so anyway I thank you guys again love you guys see you guys in my next video bye